Hello, hello, I'm Catastrophe, and welcome back to our Amazon campaign. Last time we were just pretty much expanding over this way, contesting with Bahane for Devar territory, and while she mostly dominated this entire isle, I guess, little island, we did manage to get a bit of a foothold in the north, and I've got two armies up there, so the idea is that once this army reaches over and I've gotten this one built up, because of our lack of well, current energy and Cosmite right now, things are going a little slow, but... Hopefully today, we'll be able to get our armies across and start this war. And I'm going to be working on getting Chikuku on our side as well, because he's a bit stubborn with uh, with his coming into an alliance. Because if I can get these two with me, we can pretty much strike at Bahane from various locations. Which means our army of Plague Lords, like the one here, like there's three of them, why? I just They might not be an issue anymore, because I definitely plan on moving in and striking at this army if it stays up here first. Because that means they won't be able to just come down behind us, take our cities, and cause a complete failure of my invasion. So that's the gist for today. And right now it's just getting the, uh, the Arborean. And as you can see, a lot of Cosmites needed. So for now, we'll just end the turn. Take in the natural. We'll send that one. We'll send this one. We'll just, yeah, we'll end the turn. So I'm hoping to expand here a little bit more. Get rid of uh, this Veil of Tranquility effect that may very well hinder us kind of join borders and Chikuku seems pretty strong he's going for a very synthetic army yeah he's going for the synthetics which is interesting Operations primed and ready so what I'll do is I'm actually going to deploy a monitor and I know we've got the doctrines we need to look at but right now I want to keep an eye on Bahane so if I slap one right here it lets us keep an eye on this area so he's got a lot. He's got a. Uh, was it Xeno Plague Army? There we go. In the old capital of the Devar. And it looks like he's keeping it to get Devar units. So this is going to be a very mixed army of Devar, Syndicate, as you can see, and Amazon. So we've got our work cut out for us. But hopefully, with three of us, if provided they join, we can do this. Because I am, as you, you know, I did go Xeno Plague myself to harness it. And we've got these guys to upgrade too, which is... it's We've got a lot to upgrade for the for what little Cosmite we're getting a turn. So... There is a, a tech as well after this colony infrastructure, which will let us move through our own territories a lot quicker, which will be great through this bit in particular with the ocean, because it's a bit of a slow hindrance. And in fact... No, I've got aquatic development, so I'm faster. Yeah. So I may wear we'll get those soon, but right now I need this with the Cosmite Chamber and the infrastructure so we get about like two more techs worth of movement Mountains, aren't you? so it's in this one which is great so we're halfway with this army so i'm gonna grab a huntress so it really's got some of that anti-armor as well with the biological acid and all that and most of these cities here are just building up because they don't have the tech buildings so this one will be able to produce the bombardons which i'm gonna need actually now that we've got them i think the bombardons are gonna be very important to this war. You're cool, but I don't need you. So I may very well, you know, swap out one or two of these mm -hmm. for a Bombardon with their lot, much superior range, so we can start damaging them before they get close to hurting us. So I need to have a chat with Jikuku, actually. We have a proposal. Okay. Trade Cass's belly for 22 Cosmite. That's annoying, but I think for now I'm going to do it. And that's because I need the Cosmite to upgrade my army. So we are low on energy right now, so what we can do, we can build that, get the Bombard on ready. And I'm going to use this Cosmite to try and upgrade my growth soldiers. Or not, because we still need the energy, so never mind. But it's given us what we need for now. Soil and green silk. So it's in this one. And what's this? We are going to be faster with that. That's tempting, but not overly needed. There is the Plague Lord as well that we can get. But I think I'm going to go for the Omega Hive. And improve our sort of uh, secondary weapon tech. Right now, we're going to save. Because I am on plus five energy right now, which isn't ideal. It's not particularly ideal. So hopefully I can grab Gideon's Reef soon. Oh, so the terrain changes have been done. Uh, 
like, you know what, why not? I'll keep you happy. So you have to turn that down. Yeah, so 40, 12, so hopefully in a couple turns, actually. Yeah, in a couple turns, four turns, we'll be able to grab Gideon's Reef. That uh, energy sector. Which will be great for us. Uh, right now we're at 79 a turn, so yeah, you keep producing energy. In fact, no, you can do that. There we go, nice little energy boost will come from that once all that's done. The Nadiel, yeah, just keep doing energy. Yep. So you can annex another sector, can you? What's stopping us from grabbing that? Is it this? Okay. We'll secure you then for a double energy and production. And I may have to make you a energy sector. Which as much as I'd like the production, we've got a quite a bit of it already. <laughs> like these four here. So it's not something we're sorely lacking right now. Oh, your army's on the move, okay. Did you lose something? You did, it's moved off somewhere. Which is worrying. But these two armies are staying around here, and I'm not sure why. A little bothersome. Yeah, so we've already done our mass production, so... Energy exploitation, for sure. In fact, what can you build? Can you build the bombardments? You can't yet, so... Build that for me. And, you know, we may as well build... We'll get all that in the works. Might as well. Now, you can build the bombardment. 120 energy. We'll get that next turn, then. That's fine. Yeah, you generate energy for me. For a few turns, so it's... Again, it's still a little bit more prep work, you know, but it's it's all very much needed. Now, she is expanding over here as well towards Jakuku, so I'm I'm worried it may have been left a little late, because she does actually have a fairly big empire, and she, she had... Okay, Fungal Terrain, that's fine. They did just use Entangling Growth on my ally, so hopefully this kind of kicks off a war. I can feel my life's work within me. I have no further purpose than to infect others. Will I explode violently to travel the air as spores, or will my body liquefy and spread through the water supply? Professor Derek Emtor's last journal entry. That's grim. So we've got our Omega Hive, which is our doomsday weapon, and for every one we get it makes it become stronger. So we reduce their food by 100%. All biological and cyborg units belonging to non Xeno Plague players heal 6% less. Okay. End of the. Okay, so that's pretty good. It's a bit of a pain we're fighting a Xeno Plague player, but, you know, it is what it is. So I think I'm going to go for the non refracting lasers. Or will I, actually? Tyranodon. Oh, it's tempting, but I think I'll go for non refracting lasers first. Work through that. Colony infrastructure we've got, that's great. And I'm actually going to get aquatic development. And then I'll probably get the biomatter repurposing up at the top there. So you're done. So yeah, you can make a bombard on. And you can then develop all those. So we've got quite a lot of influence now. So I'm going to compliment you. Now can I give you a defensive pact? Not yet. Okay. Operations That's fine. primed and ready. That's fine. In fact, I do need the... We've already got you active. Okay. The emissary. Where is the one that gives me more? Is it the diplomat? The diplomat, that's it. That may be what I need to boost us just that little bit further. So we got our energy siphon. Ah, oh, we still can't get it on Bahane, which is annoying. But that's not to worry. Yeah, so our main quest is to defeat Bahane, right? No worries, no worries. We'll uh, we'll get there eventually. Are you off to? Yeah, they're kind of running a bit rampant everywhere, but the less of them there are. Oh, that's been used against there as well. Tangling growth, nice. So it looks like uh, Sappho is kind of kicking here, a little bit tired of everything that's going on. So I can see their armies are moving about. So this could very well be coming to a rather violent conclusion. Let's have a look at this. So, you know, plague by 30, that's pretty handy. And biomatter scavenging. But I am, see, I, hmm, I could go for it. But I don't quite want it. You know? 
So let's grab hold of fertile plains because we want to get some movement going on a little easier. And I'm going to keep throwing compliments towards Jikuku. Uh, yeah, well done, man. Good job, you. And I'm now going to operations primed and ready. Use the diplomat. Oh, okay. No mind. I've already got that active. Okay then. Technologist, that would be quite handy. What's this one? For operational defense. I think I'll go for technologist, so we get the plus two as well. So that'll be quite nice. Autonom. Yeah, why not? That's not going to take too long at all. We've got ten turns. How long will that all take? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's no, fine. No rush. So our armies are getting together. So let's keep pushing Jikuku. Now that we're at 755, will you be friendly with me? You won't. Why? Let's have a look at this. Received gift. If I can push you maybe one more. I know I'm gonna I'm gonna have to give him a little bit of cosmite, I think. There we go. So you got 10 Cosmite. How much will that do for you? 800. So he's max. Defensive Pact. I don't think we can just get that. Okay then. Never mind. That's not too much of a worry, actually. And I'm going to start moving our armies across. Get them into the ocean. Wow, you move pretty far. Yeah, we'll get everyone into the ocean. And ready. Because you're going to be done soon-ish. I say ish. We've got a few turns to go through some things first. But I just don't like the idea of this army just hanging up here. And I may send three up to get them and have two at the Nomad Desert. Just so we can hit K Kisanovsk or be ready for it. Oh my lord, no. Fine. Well, <laughs> we're back to uh, getting hit hard with our Cosmite stores. But the, the happier the growth are with us, I guess, the better. Oh. Yeah, you keep moving, Grass. That's fine. When you get, you can move over there. You can annex another sector, can you? Okay. Hmm. We want that very much, so. Excellent. Back. Grab that too. A little bit more production. It's never a bad thing. So your length. Can you build? You, know, you can get those for me. Bardon will be done, next step back, I'm going to push that. And then we'll get another Arboreum. Yeah. Uh, let's just push you up first. There we go. Three turns, we've got nine. Yeah, no problem. I do just want to get, uh, I do want to get this army sorted quickly. In fact, we can start modifying our Bombardon. We have another proposal from Bahane. What does she want? The Trail of the Lost Captain. Oh my god, man. She, she, she's pushing me with that Cosmite, but I'm going to have to decline it. Yeah, no, that's mine. I'm not giving you that. No. So we now have you. Unexploited sector. So let's have a look. This will be food for the colony. And that'll be research. Yeah, I'm going to need research, really. A lot of water research. Wow. Sure. But we'll push you up there. And then I guess we'll maybe try compliment Jikuku again. Oh no, let's go back. Pronouncements is what I want. There we go. Compliment. Well done. So he's not going to really go in for a... Oh, he's got non-aggression with Bahane. Okay. No problem. No problem. We can't call him to war though. Which is a shame, because he would be a really nice addition. But we'll just have to see how it goes between Bahane and him with the border conflicts and all. So our armies are going to move over. In fact, yeah, I think I'm just going to move everyone over to take these two out. And I'd rather have too much than too little. Perhaps we can grab another one. Uh, let's grab hold of this one then. Yep, and exit. Yeah, we'll not upset you. That's fine. Still in the turn. So we're doing pretty well now. Our army's getting into position. I haven't really had any combat yet, but... I kind of need to be absolutely ready. 
to fly her, and I think she's building that now, or annexed it. Oh, she actually attacked. I think they've attacked. I'm not sure. Something's going on, but I'll have to keep an eye on that. So where's our Bombardon? There you are. We don't have too much Cosmite, but I think we can do a bit. Okay, give you that. We'll give you this. Okay, what else can we afford? 10% harder to hit. Mm. Psy resistance. So right now, that I'm happy with that. Where is your parasite, actually? Is there anywhere we can see it? No. Okay, well, that's fine. Bombardons are doing well. We've got our Fertile Plains Navigation. So let's grab hold of Intelligence Gathering so we can infiltrate. I think that infiltrate might give us the push we need to get Bahane. That siphon because I kind of want to keep denying them what they have. So let's have a look. We'll get Hydro. We'll get you and then we'll get Algae Farms. There we go. So let's keep everything going. Oh, we can get pretty far. Nice. Yeah, that uh, whole terrain covering bone of the inter... whatever it's called. Where are you? Transit infrastructure. Wow, it's nowhere close. That's pretty handy. What are your armies doing up by me? You should be down there fighting Bahane. So I think we've actually taken that. Yeah, so... I believe Sappho's taking Sandy Bank. Because you've suddenly got a lot of armies down here. I'll, well, say armies. It's kind of like clusters. Objective completed. Yeah, we'll sell you first. So let's have a look at this. The concept is quite simple, really. It's old medical tech applied to the battlefield. Think of yourself as a surgeon, and your enemy is a bad tattoo you need to remove. Mark McNash, CEO, Lays Tech. Okay, so we've got a shield breaker module, which gains shield overheat, disabling two shields per hit and 20% damage, and the laser pen. It can up to two armor and has an eight chance of eight strength chance of flying charred, plus 20% damage. That's nice. That's very nice. So I think right now I'm going for Plague Lord Mutation. And we'll try and make a push with that, because we do need more pustules. Operations really. primed and ready. So let's have a look. I think I'll do. What shall we do? I think we'll do Fabricated Caster Bell Eye and then Internal Purge. So let's take a shot at her. We can't? Okay. Well, we'll save that for when we get the Infiltration tech, because maybe if we do this, he might be more open to going to war with her. Mm, this is going to be a tricky one. Because it is the uh, Plague Lord I need dead. So if I bring you maybe here and we attack the small unit, we can wipe them out. We have to be completely ready for that. So let's have a look at you. You've got a, quite a few things you can do now. Stagger. I think I'll go for laser pen. Yeah. So we'll buff all of our Arborians first. Since we've got a couple. We've got one, two, three. Yeah, we're going to have a few down here. But why didn't it upgrade you? Because you're full. Right. Okay, then. Well, we'll definitely give you... I might swap it out for Plague Pod, actually. Give them the laser pen, but at least you're fully modded for now. It's not a problem. And the turn. So, Sappho, are you... Oh, you lot... Okay, so she's got three armies down here. So that does seem to be a fair bit of her army. And they're going to be defending Winduffel. Uh, so you were cut off, maybe. Right, so Sappho's now kicking it off. I'm happy with this if they can take the brunt of it with like their main armies down that way. Makes life a lot easier for me. Okay, so he's got armies here. Intelligence gathering. We must make. Okay, excellent, excellent. Now then, let's go for energy colonist care, actually. Because I don't have to suddenly deal with that. You know, we'll accept you. And we'll get the energy cells. We've got plenty of time. Next turn you'll be ready. So my armies are poised to strike. I just need to know. So I'm going to launch you first. 
Operations primed and ready. Launch the infiltrations. So maybe one more turn. Maybe one more turn. Just so I've got all this prepared. Excellent. So you're you're going to be ready. We've got a nice. I don't know why they've got their army up here though. Feels like they should be down south with the rest of them. But you will stay put. Now this army hasn't moved, so I don't know if they've just kind of freaked out a little bit or what. But I'm not seeing too. Ooh, okay, they just mega hived that. So where is she going? She pulled back. All right, the Pasha was buggered off. You've got a small army here, 703. 870, right then. So we'll infiltrate for Hain. Well, she kind of... Operations primed and ready. The jig is up with that one, but no worries, we'll just do it again. Oh, where were you? Oh, I see you're attacking here. Right, okay. Well, since she's got her armies there, let's just kick this war off, I guess. Yeah, you're ready, so let's move you out. Oh, no, not you. Declare war. Here we go. Major Cassis Bello. Hmm. Now, do I want to auto this? I think so. Oh, we took a few losses. That's fine, though. We can move straight down to the city. We've taken out quite a few of their plague... One or two of their plague lords. Three, I think. That's fine. So we've got some hero upgrades, so... You're mostly... Then we'll just give you that and Deadeye. I oh, kind of need to... Confirm your points. Deadeye, Vitality. Biology Expert, what's that? Two up... Okay, actually, yeah, I'll give you that, because... We're kind of going to need to heal. Or have some resistance against their toxin stuff. So we did lose quite a few. But I think we're in a pretty solid position to attack. Regardless. Because if I take his and off, I get all this tech. All this tech. All this terrain. And everything that comes with it. That should be nice. Right, you have suddenly got an army up here. So I may have to run you down south to defend it. Yeah. Run you towards uh, Arctic. Okay then. So let's start building up some more units, shall we? Let's get hold of another Arborian. You're building up, that's fine. Nope. Eternal Purge, nothing detected. Let's try it again. Nope, it's not working. So let's just keep moving all our armies up then. Ooh, you probably shouldn't be there. There we go, we'll put you in just in case. Slap you in there. So that's our army's done. Nope. Enemy operation detected. Oh, that's annoying, but not that it did much, luckily. So our armies are smashed here. I need to see if I can bring Jakuku in. Come on, buddy. Be a friend. I'll share vision. Alrighty. So Sappho's winning. I think she just took out a small army. Yeah, oh my gosh, she's got a lot of stuff coming. Brilliant. So I've got my own, so I'm going to hit maybe a Zinara with it. Operations primed when and it ready. comes. So let's try and fabricate a Cassis. Nope, because I haven't infiltrated. That's fine. Sleeper Zenomes, I'm saving you. This is all good stuff. It's all good stuff. So you can... You're probably going to have to move to Queen's Quay, actually, to defend against... That army. It's not a strong, strong army, but it'll definitely take out Queen's Quay, and I don't really want to lose that. So let's see what happens. Just got to watch this border to make sure they don't slip through. No? Okay. Well, we'll... Really, it's too low. Operations primed and ready. Alright then, well, we got Sappho, so she wants 80 energy for Cosmite. Yeah, actually, I'll do that. I can then give my bees the acid composite. Makes them that little bit nastier. So how far can you go? You can go here. Alright, then we'll just cross into her borders. There we go. I don't think there's too much we can do. No, I want to save the energy. In fact, I think I'm going to use this for an autumnal army. Just a minor one. 
two, three, four, five. Okay, so we've got a small little alternate army I can just slip over. I'm not going to upgrade it, but they are going to just be a bit of a buffer. Right, you jump in there. You can get to Queen's Quay next turn. Everyone just hold your horses there. Love it though if Jakuki come in, but all I have to do is just really burn through this. Join with Sappho, because Sappho's got her forces here. I don't know where the rest of Bahane's armies went, and I hope they're not all coming up towards me. As I'm in a considerable amount of trouble. But I don't think I am. Or if they will. Oh, if only Jakuki was here. This would be so easier. Legend states we killed our gods, replacing them with entertaining technologies. The gods, beholding their demise, planted doom within us. A seed called hubris. Witnessing the creation of this abomination, I hear the dead gods laughing. Mar Regnib, quitting the Xenocorp. Okay, so we have the mutation of Plague Lord, which is the final form of uh, the Xenoplague creation, or Pustules. So that's pretty cool. They are pretty strong. They can reanimate things, which can be great for me. I can use it, and we have a Xenoplague Rifle, which will be quite handy. So I'm going to grab the Bio Resonance for that healing. And for this, I'm going to grab Operation Effectiveness again, so we've got more strength and more things we can do. So let's run in. This may be a bit of a tricky fight. But yeah, so we've seen you. Now then, you're hit by Entangling Growth still. This is going to be quite nasty, because they are quite a tanky army. And their garrison's 800, so I'm expecting turrets. But I think with our overwhelming numbers, we can put, we could pull this off. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. So I've got this army coming through just as a buffer. Operations primed and ready. And you know, I think I'm going to wait for them. Because they can easily cross over for that extra number. So I'll save this, and I'll save that. I don't think they're going to reach us in time, so... Can I deploy a monitor? I can. So let's deploy a monitor just slightly further down. You can see here, so I'll throw it out here. There we go. So it doesn't look like there are armies. There's something here. There are two things here. There could be AI, uh, Marauder, things. Probably not, but at least I know something's there. Sappho is kind of going somewhere. You're, kind of in the, you're meant to be in the middle of a war, Sappho. What are you doing? Where are you? Sappho. Called for war against Bahane. He's already at war with Bahane. I'm not at war with Jakuku. Well, at least there's that. Come over, Lord. Will this work? No. <laughs> Didn't think so. But Jakuku, man, you gotta, you gotta work with me here. I really need you to join me. No, 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 no. No, let's not declare war without Cass's belly. Uh, you're gonna go to Queen's Quay and just hold. I would like you here, but, you know, just how it is. If they attack me, that's fine too. Alright, so they do have one extra unit. That's okay. Oh, hello. Wow. Oh boy, they are really not happy with me. Objective completed. Right, well, let's throw you in. What are you part of? Are you just your own? Hmm. Operations primed and ready. Can we entangle? We cannot. Well, this is going to be an interesting one. Success too low? Gee, we'll hit you at least. There we go, we'll hurt you. Just a touch. And we'll fight. So... Yeah, we'll manual this one, because we haven't had a fight yet. So, it's a slightly longer episode. We'll do this fight and see how it goes. Maybe run for our lives and raise it, and hope that they aren't going to catch us. Oh, yeah, they got turrets. That is a lot of trenches. Annoyingly so. Alright. Well, if that's the case... Oh, what do you... Don't recall you being here. So, I think I'm just going to try and bait them out. I don't really have a, an inclination to want to fight them. So, Elishnai's 
this one. And we'll move you up, because there's not too many on this end, so I think I can just bring everything through towards the middle, really. Melpamine, yeah, you run across. So we'll have, like, maybe a few of them this side to handle it. But other than that, I'm just going to get everyone into a overwatch position, if I can. Actually, no, you go there. I don't trust that cannon. Yeah, so it's mostly just waiting for now. That's it. So annoyingly, there's not too much, actually, in the Amazons that can overwatch. Which can be a slight problem, but it's nothing critical. And I'm going to keep all my bees, my wasps. Bees? The bees. I'm sure of it. Yeah, very creepy alien bees. Back. And I'm going to force them out if I can. Operations ready. Maybe. Uh, let's have a look. I'll do corrosive detonator. Let's have a look. Well, yeah, we'll hit you there. Stagger. Bit of damage. And I'll try and encourage them to not cow behind their walls. Says the, uh, <laughs> the player not wanting to move forward because of the guns. Yeah, I know I missed an overwatch there. That's alright. So you're fine. You can run up here. There we go. Here we go. They're now coming out. Well, they've got some mean range. Alrighty, excellent. So they've now come forwards. I nearly killed my sentinel. Which I can't say I really appreciate. So let's get him back then. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, Sonic. Here you go for it. Enemy killed. Hmm. Pretty good there. I'm a little concerned for my uh my sentinel, but I don't think I'm in he's in too much danger. Unlike him. So if I can throw a stick at him? No? Okay then. That's annoying. But not to worry. So I've got to be careful with how I move up. Because this cannon is definitely going to be in range now. So there's nothing too much to do about that. Keep you here. Keep you there. And I think we can just run everyone back up at least. Yeah. Scan you. So your resistance is a kind of cack. In fact, can I scan you again? Oh, we'll do the foreman. Yeah. We've got the bees. Try and kill you off. Enemy nice. killed. I think I'm not going to be too daring with this one. I, I will make sure my Aborian lives because the more things I have in better shape, the, the better, really. So you guys can move up. Yeah, everybody start to move up now. Bit of overwatch. Just trying to encourage them to come out. I'm surprised they haven't shredder bombed me. Because a shredder bomb would be really effective with what I'm doing right now. Which is a mistake on my part, but you know. Keep you there. Photonic countermeasures. So I might keep hitting this lot. Just to wear out this uh cannon. Force them to pop any heals. There we go. There we go. Yep, they're forcing all the heals. Bringing all of this out. Oh, you're concussed. Oh. Well, that's a lot of damage. Quite a lot of damage. Alright, well, where are the bees? You can go. Right, so you're probably dead. I will. Sign you off as doomed. That's okay. I, I will accept your fate. And we'll run you here, maybe, to get a shot. Yeah, you'll be in range, but... Enemy destroyed. It's fine, we'll kill you off. Run you in. Enemy eliminated. Excellent. So now that they're starting to show... Or not show, push out... It's going to be a little bit easier for me to just try and wrap them all up and get rid of them. 
before it's a bit too late. Those cannons do too much damage. Oh, just need to be mindful of uh, those cannons if I can actually hit them, please. Can I slap that down? Yeah. Nope, I'll miss instead. <laughs> Never mind. Hmm. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll scan you as well. Give you some pain. Sentence you. Ah, I almost got you. In fact, I think I'm going to run you over. Really, I can't shoot? Okay, well, we'll hide you here. Bring up. Oh, Gollum. Actually, you're not too much of a worry. So, where can I hit someone? By bringing Melvamine up here. Enemy destroyed. Yeah, I think I'd rather kill you. And then we'll do some damage to you. That was a nice little crit. Awesome. Bring you up to heal stuff. And you... Run you here. Now then, what can I do? What's this one? Size stones of dissonance. Dissonance. Oh, that's a very close quarters thing. Alright. Oh, we missed. Okay, well, one more ability, I think. On these two. Yeah. There we go. So I've almost taken these out purely with uh, some damage uh, with AoE stuff, which is nice. So everyone can just kind of just chill back now, take some hits. That's actually quite okay. Brilliant. So you can heal up our Huntress. Marvellous. You can run up and throw a stick. Oh, you missed throwing your stick. Okay. Never mind. I can kill you though. Marvellous. Let's run you up. Run the Sentinel across. Enemy killed. So we're a little bit safer now on this end of things now that the turret's down. So it shouldn't be able to do so much damage to us, but... Which is marvellous. Now then, what can I do? Let's run the golem up. Let him do his thing. Enemy destroyed. I wonder if we do it right, we might be able to finish this off here. If I can... If, well... Provided they land their hits and they hit the right thing to begin with, but... We shall see. Maybe. Enemy eliminated. Enemy destroyed. I'm feeling good about this. Come on. So if I run you up here, what would the rocket do? Punish a missile. Oh, not enough points. Okay. Well, how about we sentence the foreman? Push you up. Yeah, we'll just run you up. That's fine. We've got the wasps. In fact, I think killing the uh, the turret might be the better option here. If we can. Mostly because uh, the AoE he'll do won't be so much of a bother then. Let's move everything up. I think I've got enough for a ability. Hmm. 10 damage. Uh, do you know what we'll do that? We'll let it jump. Hopefully maybe we can get some postules. And that'll make up some of the numbers we had missing. So, I don't think anyone's going to die this turn. Touch wood. So let's take cover, take cover. Enemy down. Well, certainly didn't die, so let's do some healing quick. Make sure we're in a decent pos uh, position for the next game, or the next fights that are going to come. So everyone that can, just do your healing magic. Let's see, who else we got? I think that's everyone who can heal. 
No, no, she's got a heal on her. So let's heal up the Sentinel. Because those are pretty important. And you, yeah, you've healed. So heal up the Huntress. The machine, I'm not too Enemy about. killed. I won't be too upset about the uh, the golem since he'll be fine. Enemy to victory is ours. Brilliant. Enemy. And we did get a pustule. So where are you? Where is the pustule? Oh, you spawned all the way. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Why? <laughs> right. Well. So what are we expecting? There's one. Two, two, two armies. So they're probably, you know, if they if they decide to come on their own, I am mm -hmm. just gonna, yeah, take it. Amazon colony. I think we might be okay. Possibly, yeah. This army's left. So, what can I do quickly? Too low. Too low. Yeah, so we can't do too much to them now. Let me check their health and see who's the worst. Yeah, hurt the most. So I think it might really be my autonoms, which isn't too much of a problem. Four resistance. Hmm. I think I may have to buff Melt Me. Yeah, I'm gonna give you the uh, Sentinel though. I don't know. Yeah. We'll give them that, and then we'll buff them. So they've got the status resistance effects. Although, in fact, do the sleeper xenome and get you again. And I think we'll hit this army. Or actually this army with it. Do low, really? Okay, we'll hit you then. So you're a little weaker with the syndicate and devar. That's fine. So, what's your strength? 880. 12. I smell a side invasion. But, that's going to wait for next episode. So, the war has now kicked off. Sappho is hopefully... Yeah, no, Sappho's got some armies here and she's pushing in. Uh, I, don't, I really hope this lot comes in as well, since four of their armies are here. I think I'll hold this if I get the colony. Yeah. So the colony is technically mine now, so I get its. I'll get the um, defensive bonus of having the high ground, I guess, and the, the emplacements. There's not too much they can really threaten me with. Maybe some of these might just prove to be really annoying with the plague pod spam and all. But I think we're off to a really good start with the war, especially taking out their plague lords up top, and with these armies having to cross over, taking the old Devar capital. We're going to be taking Ezinara next, and then pushing from this side. Provided I win with some form of survivors, but I do outnumber them, for sure. So I'm pretty confident with that, even if it's a caustic one, we can just reform the armies, start to build up, and use what we've got to push in on Wirovsky. But until then, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Do leave a comment, you know, let me know what you guys think, what you want to see next, just to interact with you guys a bit more when you're watching the content. But until then, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.